My beloved love, maybe that's just how your person or this divine masculine feels around this particular karmic, that they can't really openly express their truth. They can't open their throat chakra energy fully because there's a lot of fear bound up here with this person. It's almost like they are not able to fully live in and express their truth while they are trying to remain connected in with some kind of karmic energy here. But I am getting with the four of coins that there is this sense of holding on, holding on to something from the past. Now I am getting something about finances. So it's possible that the reason this divine masculine has been trying to hold on to a particular person or connection that they no longer feel bonded to or connected to, it could be that they're doing this because of shared finances or some kind of fear surrounding financial issues or matters at this time. I don't know if that will connect specifically for someone, but I do see that all of that is perpetuating some kind of 3D separation between two souls that are highly bonded. The bond isn't going away. In fact, it seems to only be intensifying the less that there is physical interaction or physical communication. The High Priestess also represents intuition and inner knowing, suggesting that you may already have a sense that something is not quite right. The presence of the Seven of Swords in this reading is particularly significant. This card often represents deceit, betrayal, and dishonesty, indicating that the Divine Masculine may be actively concealing their true intentions from you. This may be a difficult realization to come to, but it is important to acknowledge that the Divine Masculine's behavior is not aligned with integrity and honesty and that they may be engaging in manipulative or dishonest tactics in order to maintain the status quo. The High Priestess represents intuition, inner knowing, and the subconscious mind. This card suggests that you may already have a sense that something is amiss, even if you can't quite put your finger on it. The High Priestess urges you to trust your instincts and listen to the whispers of your intuition. You may have a deep sense that the Divine Masculine is not being honest with you, or that they are hiding something from you? Trust that sense and don't be afraid to ask questions or seek clarity. The Wheel of Fortune also appears in this reading, indicating that this is a time of change and transformation. The wheel represents the cyclical nature of life, indicating that everything is constantly in motion and nothing stays the same forever. This card suggests that there may be a larger cosmic plan at work, and that everything that is happening is ultimately leading you towards your highest good. However, the cards also indicate that this behavior is not sustainable. The Tower card suggests that a significant upheaval is on the horizon, one that will shake the foundations of the divine masculine's world and force them to confront the consequences of their actions. This event may be sudden and unexpected, or it may be a long time coming, 